Hi there, now Paul Kirtley here. Now quite a few people ask me about fires under tarps, um, just as a general point, but also specifically in response to an article that's on my blog, which I'll link, um, from quite a few years ago, where I show a tarp with a fire underneath it and I'm talking about having the value um, of that tarp in your day pack for when you need it even if it's just to chuck the tarp up in the woods to sit underneath to have your lunch but also you can have a fire underneath it you get a nice recirculation of warm air underneath and it's a silicon nylon tarp and people are always asking is that okay aren't you going to put holes in it well of course you don't want a raging inferno with the flames touching the uh, the tarp but particularly if it's raining, um, there's quite a lot of cooling effect of the water on the outside. Now today I am going to have a fire under a tarp and it's the same tarp that is in that article from quite a few years ago. This tarp is still okay. And actually it's starting to rain now. And this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. There's a wind coming from the west. I'm on a wilderness canoe trip. There is a camping area that's clear here. Um, it's not even in a park, it's in Crown land in Canada. There are generally established little fire sites. There's a few around, but all of them are in the wind. None of them have got any cover. And so I've put my tarp up, which I've been using largely to put over my tent on this trip. I put this tarp up to have a fire underneath it because that little spot there is out of the wind. Um, I'm sick of it taking 30 minutes for my pots to boil because the wind is blowing uh, stuff around. So it's out the wind and I've put a tarp over the top to keep everything dry particularly when I start the fire so without further ado we are going to have a fire I'm scraping up some birch bark and dropping a spark onto it to get the initial fire going yeah it's been very showery today on and off Wind keeps coming up with these squally little showers and it just makes more sense to be down here and, and sheltered. Bunch of spruce and balsam fir twigs going on there. So there you go, it's no great deal lighting a small stick fire under a tarp, even a fast fire like that that's for a boil, you could see that that was going quite strongly but there was no danger to the tarp, it's not super high, I can't even stand up underneath that tarp, I haven't got it at ridiculous height, yet there's no danger to the tarp at all. And if it's wet on the top there's a greater cooling effect as well and you're most likely to have a tarp up in the rain anyway. So there you have it. Can you light a fire under a tarp? Yes, of course you can. And there's another example of it being done. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and remember to click the notifications there as well for more tips, tricks, and skills related to wilderness bushcraft, survival skills, and outdoor life. It'd be great to have you on board as a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers.